Okay, hi everyone. In this video, I got an email from a person and it was regarding flash speed and sync speed and flashy, sinky, flash sync speed. Um, and it, it was quite a big email, uh, which at the start I could understand very easily and just go, this is what this means and this is what that means. But uh, it then went on and on and on and on and it ended up confusing myself. Uh, with trying to figure out how I'm meant to answer him. Um, so this is a response to Mordy from New York regarding flash sync and shutter speed. Okay, so I'll break it down here uh, and I'll put what he said over in the corner here. He said, I've watched your video about flash sync and shutter speed and still have some questions and issues. I have recently purchased a Nikon D7000 so after so many years of not using my old Minolta film camera, I have difficulty understanding the weird menu of flash sync speed and flash shutter, shutter speed um, of the camera. Okay, I can show you that on this. I don't have the D7000, I've got the D700, I've got the D300, and I've got a Fuji, which all roughly is the same. Um, but we can look at the menu systems on my D700, and I'll explain it to you through that. Um, it is extremely frustrating that I'm going uh, at, and I'm really going crazy uh, for over the last four weeks trying to figure it out. I've asked 15, at least 15 famous photographers uh, from whom three have got back to me with different explanations. Oh. And unfortunately none got back to me with the main points of my question. Hopefully I shall be able to do that for you. They all sent me two liner answers which I don't understand. Okay, please note, what I'm talking about is the pop-up flash only. Pop-up flash, being this little guy. Um, so, cannot go up to one eight thousandth of a second. Correct, you can't go up to eight thousandth of a second with this. Um, as of now, I don't own a speed light uh, and need to learn the basics of these two flash menus. So it's really the flash menus that you're trying to figure out. Um, I got through the concepts of first or front uh, curtain and second or rear curtain um, by reading some books and articles and watching YouTube videos, but I keep on confusing flash sync speed versus flash shutter speed in the menus. Um, I know about the black strip appearing in some shots due to the fast shutter speed of the second of the closing second curtain not syncing with the flash speed which is slower. Hmm. Flash speed, I've always got to remember, the speed of the flash is instantaneous. Um, this comes out at, if you don't have it, if you have it like maybe a sixteenth of a power, the speed of your flash is around about one fifty thousandth of a second. Super duper quick. Uh, and no shutter will be faster than that. Um, so you don't, never think of your flash as being slow. Um, okay, and there you go. Someone told me that flash fires much faster than the shutter in general. Correct. All the time, that will always go bang really quickly um, and you don't need to worry about the speed of that. But what you do have to worry about is the shutter going up over your sensor. So uh, your sensor is my face. The, the shutter is not something that goes up like that and then back down. It's actually two bits. It's two bits of fold like that. First one goes up and then the second one goes up and closes like that. So it goes down, down. That's how uh, the shutter works. Um, and if you're going really fast, what happens, instead of just going up through the exposing the whole face and then this one coming up, what happens is all you get is this little band of exposure going up and up and up like that. And if, great example with two bits of paper, and if you go beyond 250th of a second, that is where your camera cannot sync, or your flash cannot sync, because what's happening is all you're getting is this little line of exposure coming up, instead of a full, here's the whole face, flash, and then the second one coming up, all you're getting is a little bit going flash, and all you're getting is th that bit there. Um, okay, so let me just go back to this. Um, someone told me that flash fires much faster than the shutter in general. Yes. Uh, so which one is it? Flash fires faster? Yes. Uh, that's why you get the middle exposed strip um, and two black bars top and bottom, correct? Or if you're using some flashes which, um, for some reason, some flashes sync slower. If you're doing it with like a radio transmitter or if it's with an old system that takes me a while for the electrics to charge up and blast it flash. Uh, I recently did a shoot where the studio flash, its maximum sync speed 
was a 90th of a second. And I was like, why the hell is that? And it's just because the amount of time it takes for my flash to go off to set that one off to then go there. If I go faster than a 90th of a second, it ends up just having like a big blank bit. In fact, let's see if I can show you that here. Here, this image here. I'll show you this later on. Um, but yeah, that was at one uh, 125th of a second. Uh, and it was just black, black, black. And that's how the shot was meant to be. Um, but then the one, see there, you're getting like half the band. Just because it was a bit too slow. The flash, in terms of its electronics and how well it could pump it out, not in how fast the actual burst of light was. That's what you've got to think about the difference. Okay, so let's go back into the into the camera. We'll have a look at the settings there. Okay, so if we can see this, uh, what we've got is uh, in the custom settings menu, um, if you go along and you go into bracketing and flash, you've got a whole bunch of different options, a whole bunch of different options uh, here. And what uh, the question was, was regarding flash sync speed and flash shutter speed. Now, you may not know, know this, but if you press this button at the side, this will explain it. Uh, so, if you don't really, can't be bothered watching the rest of this video, just press the question button on your camera and that will explain to you what all the stuff means. But if you can't be bothered reading, then just watch the rest of this. Uh, okay, flash sync speed. As I said, some flashes may be a bit slow, um, but generally if you're working with your camera and your pop-up flash, you can happily have it at 1 250th of a second uh, and it will still be able to sync with your pop-up flash. If you're using your pop-up flash and you want to go faster, than your sync speed. So you're going to be using, it not so much your pop-up flash, but you're using speed lights or you're using um, off-camera flash, then you can use auto FP, which means auto focal plane, which means it can go faster than 250th of a second. If we go into the second one, flash shutter speed, what this is telling you is the slowest setting that you'll have your camera set if you're in a dark situation and you're using flash. So, if you're using flash, the light coming from your camera will always give you an exposure. And if you don't want it to be exposing too much of the background, you'll just keep it at 1 60th of a second. But if you w are quite happy to have a slow shutter speed, then you can change it all the way into like 30th, 15th and all that kind of stuff. Generally, if I'm shooting, I like to control my lights, so I don't ever want it to go slower than a 60th of a second. So again, it's if you're shooting in a low light situation, and you don't want your camera ended up taking like a four second photo by having it down here uh, and then having some flash coming up at the front or at the, at the start or at, or at the end, then keep it somewhere up here, 60th of a second. That's where I usually have mine kept. And my flash sync speed is normally at 250th auto FP. Now, if I am going to go take a photo, um, on the back of my camera, I've got a whole pile of information here. So on the back of my camera, it's telling me that I am in aperture mode. Ooh, it's gone the opposite color. Anyway, um, and it is telling me that I am under exposing it by half a stop. So I can change that by making sure that it's naturally exposed. It's saying it's giving me an eighth of a second. Now, because I've got my pop-up flash up, it shouldn't be saying an eighth of a second, but that is because I am in slow or rear uh, flash mode. So if I change my flash mode, so it's in the normal flash mode, suddenly the speed will come up to a 60th of a second. Let's see. Oh, open up the flash. Ta-da! And it's giving me a 60th of a second. So no matter where I go, no matter how dark the location is, it will always give me a 60th of a second photo. If I take a photo there, see, we get the uh, camera taking a flash. Now, if I were to change it to um, uh, program mode, it will be the same. So if I go to program mode, again, it's saying I need an eighth of a second to get the photo, but if I bring up my pop-up flash, it'll go to, oops, I'll go to 60th of a second. And what we'll be saying is like, look, this is gonna be totally underexposed. So the only thing that's gonna give us any exposure is gonna be from the flash, again. Now, if I want to change anything, it's pretty much not gonna let me because it's so dark in here it's saying this is how bright it kind of needs to be. Now, if I go and change it so I am in shutter speed mode, well then that has no effect because we are deciding the speed of the shutter and it will be dedicating the exposure by changing the aperture. 
So shutter speed is not a good option to have if you're doing any form of flash. If you're then using manual mode, well then you're in full control again, and you can decide whether it's a, a fast or a slow shutter speed. So really the menu setting of flash shutter speed only really affects program mode or aperture mode. Now the next thing is, if I am shooting, let's bring it back into aperture mode, which is a good mode to have if you're shooting uh, with flash. If you then are shooting something which is very bright, uh, for example, if I turn on my computer screen and I point the camera screen where it's now bright white, if I put it up there, what I'll say is saying H1, which is saying it, the shutter speed is too high for the flash sync. So I need to bring the ISO down, let's bring that down to 200, and it's still saying it's too high, it's too high by about a stop, so if I bring the aperture down, there, cool, so 180th, 250th, but if I go any higher with ISO, it's going to say too high, too high, so we can't do that. But if we change the uh, flash sync speed, so it's auto FP, then yes, it will go higher than before, by showing you there. See, there it's going up to 500th of a second. Okay, so I hope that helped a little bit there. I hope that explains something for you. Um, then you also go on. Now this is something which you need to work on the exact vocabulary that you use when you're talking about different types of photography stuff. Here it says, the way I understand it, uh, the way I understand is that I could control the camera's highest maximum shutter speed Again, highest and maximum shutter speed. That's the wrong words. Highest, there isn't a high shutter speed, is it? and there isn't a maximum shutter speed. So you've got the fastest or slowest shutter speed. So when you say maximum, is that meaning an 8,000th of a second? Or are you meaning maximum as in a 30th of a second? It doesn't make sense. You know, highest again could be the highest speed, or is it the highest exposure? 30 seconds. Again, so use the fastest or shortest if you're talking about uh, shutter speed and flash. Uh, so anyway, you see you. Uh, the way I understand is that I could control the cameras, cameras, let's say you're meaning fastest shutter speed, in shutter priority mode and M mode, manual mode, yes. Uh, or I could go lower, correct. Uh, when I do this in my living room, the colours are washed out and I lose most of the natural colours, skin tones, etc. I don't really know what that's colours and skin tones and all that kind of stuff really isn't to do with your shutter speed um, or flash. If you're overexposing with the flash, then yeah, you're losing stuff there. But if you're saying washed out, I don't, I don't really know how you think that sh using shutter speed priority or manual mode is having any effect on colours. Don't understand that one. For some weird reason, uh, this shutter speed is called sync mode. Which is, if you flash to sync with the flash speed, plus shutter is faster, so the flash speed is faster, and sync to it is the You can do that, don't And plus, when should I use this flash sync speed? As still white, which one? Um, can I use this with three strokes inward in four faster than remote control? Uh, yes, you can use your four faster than uh, zero three faster. But in P or after power mode, I cannot control the shutter manually because I choose control the uh, after. Correct. Uh, so shutter speed is between maximum of a sixth of a second or 30 seconds, and flash sync to it. Correct. I understand if you want to dance actually, and that should also work. Uh, yeah, because people just change whether it, yeah, you just change it, it doesn't work. And people talk about the use after mode or manual mode, they'll be easier. Just because it's more friendly, times we need to use shutter mode. If you talk about using shutter mode, you'll always end up in the way after. If you, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so here's the last question. When do I use this flash shutter speed menu E2 outdoors? Obviously, this is a fast motion, that's more stroke. Well, it is actually fine with the master, because uh, the flash, flash shutter speed, let me just remember what I'm talking about here. Flash shutter speed, if you're outdoors, it's a fast motion, it's already done very fast. Anyway, it, the flash shutter speed menu E2 is really for if you're in a dark location, and it's the slowest shutter speed you can use. Why is flash speed fixed up a second? I can't tell you, but we can't mention it, because it's just Again, if you're in a dark location and you're using your pop-up flash, you could end up end it like if you're taking a picture of a group and you're just there photo and it opens up for about five seconds, then it exposes the flash afterwards. Just like what a waste of time. You you know it could be like a four second exposure and you don't want to, people standing there going eh, eh eh what's going on and then flash and then that's what exposes onto the camera. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of leave it there because you've just kind of gone on repeating yourself but in different ways and all that kind of stuff. It's just all very confusing. But uh, yeah, so main thing is flash shutter speed menu in there is for the slowest shutter speed that you can take in a low light situation and the flash sync speed is to do with how fast your flashes can sync with your camera so if you've got a very old fashioned flash a uh, big studio kind of thing that it takes a while for all the electricity to go through it then you need to dial it down so that only goes up to a maximum of a 90th of a second which i had in that studio shot 
but if you are shooting with your Nikon speed lights, you don't need to worry about it because they can go as fast as you want. Okay, and also one last thing was just remember when you're talking about uh, the camera's highest maximum shutter speed, that doesn't make sense. Always use fastest or slowest shutter speed. Hope that helps a little bit. Probably been more confusing than it really needs to be. Okay, bye bye.